Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And in one of our previous episodes, we introduced you guys to our slash two-wheel drive low center of gravity or LCG chassis here. And I uh, just wanted to take another look at it, give us uh, or give you some of our initial thoughts, uh, improvements that we have in store here. So uh, in the episode, we also we, we put on the uh, the extended battery kit, right? So we can fit the uh, larger uh, 4S sized, right? Four cell sized um, 10,000 milliamp Venom packs that we run that are actually two cell size. But uh, since they have double the capacity, they are actually double the thickness. So we, we put in the extended battery kit here. And, um, you know, just going through the car a little bit, right? The, the front suspension seems okay. We probably just need to check the fluid in those. Um, not sure if these are the springs that we're going to go ahead and run. We are um, getting this prepared to go to the track. Uh, the rear shocks, there's definitely some binding in this left shock. Um, they seem just empty of fluid, right? So, uh, you know, the silicon fluid that goes into these shocks... Right, we use uh, just you know any any shock oil will do. We use these team associated uh, oils, but um, you know the the purpose of that oil, uh, and you can adjust the thickness, of course, is to control uh, the the oscillations. Right, the, so a spring, if you just uh, just had a spring in there, it would just bounce back and forth. Right, it would just bounce up and down, and you don't want that. You want it to bounce, return, and then and then hopefully stop there. Right, absorb. The shock absorb the jump, the bump, etc. You know, keep the tire um, in contact with the ground, and then uh, you know, keep it in in contact with the ground through throughout the whole um, you know throughout the whole process of going over a bumper uh, or whatnot. Right. The whole point is to keep power to the ground for as long as you can, um, or for as much as possible. So you know, these these are generic shocks. They're not pro line. Um, shocks or anything, or even tracks of shocks. Not sure where these came from since we got the vehicle used. Uh, they do look nice because they're all aluminum, but you know that binding issue. Uh, it's it, it, putting in fluid may or may not help that, depending on if it's just completely empty there. Um, but uh, you know, usually these generic shocks, the the quality control may be suspect, right? Uh, the O-rings and the seals used uh, against the shaft. You know, that's that's probably why this this shock is empty because the uh, the silicone fluid just just uh, made its way out, so um, you know we'll go ahead and take tear those down. We might even just end up reverting to, uh, you know, your your standard Traxxas uh, plastic shocks, right? Um, actually, having aluminum for a shock, uh, the the benefits of it not not huge on a race car like this, right? Um, uh, you don't really need the strength of the aluminum. The, these these plastic shocks are actually fairly sufficient. Um, you know, unless you're competing at a, at a really high caliber or whatnot, um, these will, these will suffice and, you know, shocks are, uh, it can get pretty expensive if you get the, you know, some pretty nice ones like from ProLine or whatnot. Um, we'll, we'll probably, you know, since this is, is pretty, pretty kid oriented here, we'll, we'll probably stick with the, you know, we'll probably just swap in the plastic ones. We might have, um, you know, we, we do have some, uh, some big bore shocks here in the garage. We might go ahead and use those. We'll see what we can piece together for this truck. Uh, get rid of this wheelie bar here. Put on the the proper bumper for the slash, uh, and and we'll probably bring this to the track. Definitely the tires. Uh, you know these are the stock Traxxas tires, which are extremely slippery. We we actually took this track. Uh, the, we we took the slash out on on a 3S pack, uh, and it was just completely undrivable. Right, um, that extra voltage. Uh, you know the the wheel spin was just un uncontrollable. It was fun. It was it was essentially a drift truck at that point. Uh, but these tires just have, have very poor traction. They're very hard. The rubber is very hard, very slippery. Um, doesn't do much for for putting power to the ground there. Um, it's just, it's fine when you're running a probably a lower powered setup. But of course, you know tires are very important. They're what actually um, put the power to the ground, right? There, the, the traction between the, the, the tire and the ground, that's, that's what allows the truck to move forward, right? Uh, and turn and handle and et cetera. The, the, t the tires make a huge difference. So, um, we'll probably put a, a set of better tires on here. Um, probably, uh, get some pro line, um, tires for the track and, 
uh, we'll keep you guys posted. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.